We good? You look handsome? You're a handsome guy. All right, y'all. Thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking care of a, a, a USB stick that has several partitions on it that we can't just delete. We had Hive installed on it before, and if you use Hive, you know that's what it does. And this could be for any situation that you may be in where you have multiple partitions on a drive that you can't get rid of. So here they are right here. As you can see, I've got these three, and they all come off of this one. Uh, right now, it's saying I only have 20 megabytes available. We know this is a 14 gigabyte drive. So, okay, we know we got a problem. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is go Go down here to do the search and we're going to type in computer management if you just type in comp or something close to it it'll bring it up you just go ahead and click on that i'll drag that window over for you like that and we go to disk management and as you can see i have two disks in here now we'll say this is very important so pay attention i would go ahead and remove any other devices or any other usb drives that you have on your computer before you do this only because if you choose the wrong one and you do what we're about to do everything's gone so be super careful now for me it may be different for you but for me my drive zero is going to be my main drive that's my c drive and that's a half a gig i'm sorry half yeah it's a half a terabyte it's 500 gigabytes and then the next one down as you can see is removable and it's 14.34 this is a 14 gigabyte uh drive so uh again actually i think this is 16 technically uh, but anyway uh, point saying is that you want to just make sure everything is taken off and you only have the one that you need to work on just just be careful okay i don't want you leaving comments down below that you had problems leave comments down below if you enjoyed this video and definitely appreciate those thumbs up so now that we've got this up that's going to be part one we're going to use that second so the next thing we're going to do is come down here and we're going to type in cmd for charlie mary david and that's going to bring up the command prompt so the command prompt looks like this if you've seen it before and for here, all we're gonna do is type in uh, disk part, all one word, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, and hit enter. It's gonna give us a Windows notification. We're gonna say yes to that, and we'll come over here. So now we've got a, another uh, DOS window open here. Now here, we wanna list, <coughs> excuse me, we wanna list all the different disks that it can find. Now we saw earlier that it had two, so let's go ahead. Well, I technically that one drive had three and then one from Windows, but really there's only two drives installed, the C drive and the USB drive. So let's go ahead and let's type in what we want. We wanna list space D-I-S-K. Sorry, I'm looking over the microphone to type this. As you can see here, they are right here. Now, we know that this one right here is 465 gigabytes and that is going to be my main drive my c drive this one right here at 14 gigabytes is going to be my usb drive so i guess it is 14 gigs i thought it was 16. anyway um there you go so now we want to select the disk that we want to work on make sure again that you choose a correct disk maybe different on your screen than it is on mine but mine is going to be disk one so we're going to type in select disk one all with a space select space disk space one and hit enter okay now we've selected disk one okay and that's the one we're going to be working on the 14 gigabyte now that we've got that up like that we're going to type in simple as it is c l e a n clean and hit enter now this could take a minute could take a little while longer uh depending on the size of the drive so if you want to give it like 60 seconds maximum that's fine probably won't take anything longer than 60 seconds now if you're doing something that's you know several terabytes maybe it will take more than 60 seconds but for a typical drive like this one uh it's just going to take a quick second to run through and that's really it now this will pop up it does pop up for me i don't know if it'll pop up for you but it pops up for me i'm not going to worry about that right now we just want to make sure that went through and all right succeed in cleaning the disk so we know that we're good so now we can close this we can close this we can hit cancel on this and you can see now that we just have the one drive so that's good. So now we're back here at our computer management. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it. We're by clicking on it, we're gonna highlight it. We're gonna right click on it. And we're gonna do a new simple volume. We're gonna go here, we're gonna click next. We're gonna leave all of this as default. We're gonna leave this as default. If you want, you can change this, but we'll just leave it as default for uh, argument's sake. FAT32 or NTFS, depends what you're gonna be doing. Typically, FAT32 is going to make it where you want it to be. And then of course, here we're in new volume. You could type in anything in. Uh, we'll just type in test uh, just for, did I type that in right? Just for argument's sake and perform a quick format. So we're gonna click next again and finish. That will take just a minute to format that and there you go as you can see it says now the disk is empty if we come back over and we open this up you can see now that we are 14.3 gigabytes free and of 14.3 gigabytes and there's the name that we labeled it test 
So we know everything went through. So we can close that, close that, and again, there we are. So when we open that up, it is empty, and we are set to go with only the one partition, with everything being, well, technically no partitions, because it's just this one, I guess it's one partition, but it's all back in here like that, so you're set to go. All right, listen, again, thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It definitely helps the channel. If you haven't subscribed, I'm going to have the button. It's going to be right over there. If you want to check out any of my other videos, I'm going to have one right up over there. Probably have something on Hive, uh, seeing how that was what I was just working on earlier. I appreciate y'all checking in, and I'll see y'all next time.